Before I start, I'll give you a bit of background. This happened in 2012 when I was still in school, me and two brothers of mine decided we would enter a film competition because why not and we all had experience in filmmaking and editing, after seeing a leaflet on it in our school. The winner, S, would win a cash prize and some other stupid shit I don't know. We took basic supplies like food, a tent, camping apparatus, weed, and liquor, because it wouldn't be a proper camping experience without them, a camera and a tripod to film our spooky movie. The events that occurred happened over the course of four days, we originally planned to stay for five days. P.S. I don't usually green text so don't ridicule sticks. B17. Bro 1, let's call him Chris also 17. Bro 2, let's call him Sean, Sean is 16. Remember both of these names are made up for the sakes of anonymity. Chris was the most macho guy of the group who was the ladies man. He was a great athlete and a sporty type but deep down though he was a real sensitive guy. Sean, was the geek of the group who was an outdoor freak, he was shooting elk since he was 12 with his father so he knew his shit about outdoors. He was great at computing slash editing but was slightly beta and the only virgin out of the three of us, we would usually tease him about it in a jokingly way of course. Anyway. Day 1. Used my dad's car as a means of transportation. Drove about 27 miles outside of the nearest town. Pulled up into a secluded road for about another 5 miles before pulling to stop. Investigate the grounds to see if it's suitable for the film slash camp's location. Perfect. We walk about 300 feet into what looked like a campsite. Nearly sure it wasn't and that we we were actually trespassing. Who give a shit dot squidward. We are all appointed roles, mine was to collect firewood when necessary. After prioritizing the important shit like setting up our tents, starting a fire and getting our bearings of the surrounding area we started to film. The film was aimed to be one of them cliché slashers in a woods like Wrong Turn and Friday the 13th. I was a character alongside Sean. Chris filmed the film using the camera and tripod. Looking back, it was cheesy as hell but fun. What seemed like no time was actually like 5 hours of shooting and messing about. Sean suggests heading back to the campsite as it's getting dark and we don't want to get lost. We get back to the campsite and some of our stuff is missing and misplaced. We notice our rucksacks carrying our food has been opened and food has been stolen. Starting to feel uneasy about the situation. Sean says it was probably a deer or bird. Me and Chris don't argue but we all slightly unsettled about the situation although no one said anything in case they would be called a pussy etc. After about two hours of smoking and drinking a strong smell resembling rotten milk mixed with vomit hits our nostrils with the power of a thousand suns. Chris shouts which one of you bastards farted, it smells of burnt asshole. We piss our balls laughing cause everything's better stoned and drunk. In the fits of our laughter a quick rustling in the bushes behind the tent occurs. We all go silent. Freaking out Sean grabs his hunting knife and observes the tree lean. After what felt like an hour, Sean cautiously approaches the tree lean. He gets to the tree lean and shines a torch into the woods. Nothing. At this stage we are wondered if we had like a joint, pun not intended, nope experience and that the weed and alcohol was making us imagining it. We decide to call it a night and crawl into our tents. Day 2. Wake up with slight hangover and dehydrated at like 8.30 am. It's overcast unlike it was the day before which was sunny. Unpredictable weather. Shit. I crawl out of my tent. Sean is sitting on his camp chair at the edge of the smoldering fire poking the ashes with a stick lost in thought. I walk over to him. Walking over he doesn't notice I'm there. I ask him hey man, you okay? He looks up at me and says yeah man I'm fine. Want to go exploring into the woods? I ask why? He says cause man, just curious. Weirded out but I say yeah man, sure. We decide not to wake Chris cause he's a cranky shit when he's disturbed from his sleep. We roll some joints and disappear into the woods. 
High as shit exploring nature is fun. We come to the top of the hill. Overlooking some of the woods, I take some photos on my phone of that shit because the scenery is incredibly beautiful. On our way down, Sean casually asks me in nearly a whisper hey man, did you hear them screeches and the giggling last night? I say nah man, I was probably sleeping though. He says oh, I'm surprised you didn't cause they were pretty loud. He then goes on and says that he was pretty creeped out. I nervously laugh and say was probably a fox or something man, I wouldn't worry about it. He says again in a whispering like tone hum I don't know man. The more I think about it, the faster my heart starts beating. It's unusual for Sean to be creeped out and when he is, he wouldn't say, on top of the fact that he has been camping most of his life and he knows his shit about outdoors and wildlife. Is that why you were quiet as hell this morning I ask? Yeah man, I was pretty worried. Feel unsettled about it? Get a feeling deep in my guy telling us to leave this place. I say nothing though. We quickly change the topic of conversation but the lingering disturbing feeling we were both feeling remained present. Pick related. It's the photo I took. Get back to the campsite. Chris is frying bacon. Give me some of that shit. Munchies hit hard. We gobble down like 18 slices of bacon between us in silence. We tell Chris what Sean told me. He's generally worried but doesn't let on, we can see it in his facial feature and eyes. Comfort him by saying it was a fox or some shit. Resume filming. Filming for two hours. Call it an early day of filming because Chris has a bad hangover. We don't complain as we're worn out also. We walk back to campsite, everything's the way we left it thank god. Have an early night. Day 3. Wake up fresh as hell. Helis.jpg. The other two chud dies are still asleep. I decide to go for a walk because I'm bored. After about 15 minutes of walking, I get a smell of decomposing flesh. I come across a bird about the size of an Xbox laying dead. It's completely skinned and mutilated and covered in flies. Get an overwhelming sense that someone's watching me. I look behind me. About 110 meter away can make a black figure lurking in between trees and bushes. Whilst looking at it I hear giggling from behind me which sounded about 10 meters away. Nope. I run towards the direction of the campsite faster than a fellow with a dinner turkey for KFC without looking back. I tell the guys what happened. They actually believe me, probably because of all the weird shit that's going on. We are all worried at this point, worried to the point that we might cancel the rest of the filming. For the rest of that day we didn't leave the tree lean. We sat on our chairs on constant edge jumping and every creak or crack. When it got dark, we decided to finish of the rest of our Polish vodka because to hell with that. Drunk as hell we forget all about the spooky things happening. Chris notices we're going low on firewood. Before anyone can mention, Sean volunteers because he's a crazy sumbitch with alcohol in him and is by far the drunk eat out of us three. Says I need a, 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 a piss anyway I I in a slurred voice as he's drunk as shit. He staggers up into the tree line and into the pitch black. Me and Chris resume talking. Half an hour or so passes and still no sign of Sean. Where the hell's that guy at Chris says half laughing and half concerned. We start to worry real bad. At this stage the fire is smolder and we're using two 20 million candle powered flashlights to see what the hell we're doing. The smell of burnt asshole returns with a vengeance, this time it's that bad that our eyes are watering from it. As soon as the smell slightly dissipates, Sean emerges from the tree lean calm as ever and sits down beside us causally. Where the hell have you been we asked him generally concerned. He doesn't respond. And why the hell are you covered in dirt and shit? Doesn't respond again. He just sits there looking at the ground daydreaming. This isn't funny Chris says to him generally. Sean once with an emotionless face sickeningly looks over at Chris with a smirk on his face, then turns back to the ground. Whatever asshole Chris says who then stands up and crawls into his tent. 
I look at Sean who is emotionless once more. What the hell man, you didn't even get the firewood I say. As soon as I say that he quickly looks up and over to me and says do you want to come help me get it. Slightly weirded by the fact that not even an hour previous, Sean's words were slurred as shit and now he's speaking if he's stone cold sober. I kindly refuse and say there's no point man, we might as well go to bed. I get up and walk towards my tent, as I crawl into my tent he calls Anon, are you a scared of IT in like a fucked up voice that sounded like the girl's voice from the ring when she rung the victims. To this day it seriously makes the hairs on my neck stand up. WTF. I turn my head and say why are you talking like that for? He mockingly smirks like what? I think to myself, what a goddamn asshole and crawl into the tent. I get shit ass sleep, thinking Sean's going to cut my throat as soon as I close my eyes. Not once did I hear Sean's tent zip open and close meaning he stayed out all night. It was sickening to the stomach. Day 4. I wake up in the morning to find Sean's tent unoccupied. Think about last night and ask myself did I have too much to drink. Generally start to believe that what happened wasn't real and my drunk mind interpreted the events wrong. I cook myself up some sausages and eat them in the sun like a boss. Chris awakens from his tent, he sits beside me. I offer him some. He refuses. What the hell happened last night he asks. We were drunk as hell man I say. Yeah suppose he responds. We dismiss it. Where's that stick anyway Chris says jokingly. Probably away getting firewood I say. After a while of waiting about to resume filming. Chris being the hothead he is loses his patience. If that sped ass is lost I'll rip his head off. I tell him to chill. He opts to go looking for him whilst I stay at camp increase he comes back. Chris disappears into Trilene. An hour or so passes. I sit in the sun and smoke a cigarette. Birds are chirping and all feels good. Dawns on me that neither brothers have returned though. A slight sense of anxiety is present. I try ignore it. It gets worse. The birds have gone silent and a tinge of sour milk is present. I start physically gagging. I think what the hell is it with this place and foul odors. I look up sharply into the tree lean at the back of the tents. What I met upon is terrifying, even to this day thinking about it chills me to the core. Despite being about 50 meters away I was able to distinguish the creature's features. By the looks of it, the thing was at least 7 feet, it looked like Gollum from Lord of the Rings but only it was skinnier and it was pale, its eyes were like two small black buttons sunken deep into the creature's skull, although the teeth weren't visible I could imagine how they look which adds to the despair. Paralyzed in fear and intense nausea I stand looking at it in sheer disbelief. Before thinking to nope the hell out of there it shot of on all fours. At this stage my head is spinning and in in shock. Dawns on me that neither brothers have returned though. A slight sense of anxiety is present. I try ignore it. It gets worse. The birds have gone silent and a tinge of sour milk is present. I start physically gagging. I think what the hell is it with this place and foul odors. I look up sharply into the tree lean at the back of the tents. What I met upon is terrifying, even to this day thinking about it chills me to the core. Despite being about 50 meters away I was able to distinguish the creature's features. By the looks of it, the thing was at least 7 feet, it looked like Gollum from Lord of the Rings but only it was skinnier and it was pale, its eyes were like two small black buttons. Sunken deep into the creature's skull, although the teeth weren't visible I could imagine how they look which adds to the despair. Paralyzed in fear and intense nausea I stand looking at it in sheer disbelief. Before thinking to nope the hell out of there it shot of on all fours. At this stage my head is spinning and in in shock.